Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Built. No, you haven't accidentally got onto the wrong video. We are going to be putting the heated seats and sorting switches out in the Defender today. But first of all, you join me inside the 458 Italia. Oh, some guy's waving at me. Yes. Oh, I think he follows Bilk. That's cool. I'll tell you what, there is a, an awesome sound just at about 3000 RPM as you're pulling away. The sort of exhaust just turns into like a an angry bear, it just sort of goes Rawr! All right, just jumped back in the Defender and uh, we're on our way back home. We've got to get these uh, heated seats sorted. We finally got them. It's taken like nearly nine months to actually get these switches and that's because I wanted the proper OEM ones. I've had to wait a very long time to finish off the dashboard. It will just tie everything in together. So I've been excited to get these switches for a very long time nine months in the way and we're finally going to get it. We'll catch up with you when I get back to the house and start fitting these heated sweet switches. Heated seat switches. These are the unbelievably difficult things to get hold of. The official Land Rover, I don't know if you can see that now on the floor, the official Land Rover switches. And the final thing is basically to jump in and actually get them in. Okay, so now that we're in the car, you probably see some other stuff as well. So again, these are the holes we're trying to fill. Now, one of these has got the cable sticking straight out, and that is for the driver's seat where I'm sat now. So this seat should work straight away. However, the one here, somebody has been very clever, a very annoying passenger, and poked it all the way in there. So let's see how I can get these in. I'll try and get the first one in, see if that gets working first of all, and then we'll give them a fire up, see if they warm up, um, and see if that works. The two switches have got exactly the same symbol on them. So it's not like one and then inverted for the other. So it's not like um, one's for the left-hand side and one's for the right-hand side. They're both exactly the same. That's kind of annoying. Simple fact is, I believe we should just be able to just push that into the switch and then push the cable straight back in and it will fit. So, there's that. Clipped, okay, let's push that in. And the frame and all the dashboard should be set up for that to work. Actually, before I do that, I should have just tested it before. I don't want to turn it on because we're indoors turn on right we have a little light I don't know if you can see that there we go so it's not pushed into the dashboard yet but there is a little light so that's the ignition on on the car and everything's kind of working and that little button is on off good sign in wow that looks pretty damn tidy aircon out Heated seat off. Nice. Okay. Now, we've got to find a way of getting it. Tell you what, I'll turn the ignition off so that fuel pump stops, which is less annoying. Oh my God, that is so tight to get that thing out. I'll try it with L screwdriver first. Hang on a sec. You know what? I probably shouldn't have pushed the other button in before I got there. Ooh, pick up. There we go. Got you. No! Right, I need something with a hook on the end of it. This is so annoying. Right, here we go. We're definitely reaching now. This hook is just too flimsy. It keeps bending. Yes, yes, oh, you are there, you are there. No! no! Every time I get some purchase on it, it just keeps dropping off. Oh God. So what it's doing, 
if you can imagine like the cable behind the dashboard here, it's pointing that way. So the, un the actual clip is somewhere about here, directly behind here. And I'm trying to like lift the cable up to bring the thing so I can pull it out forwards. <sighs> so what I've, what I've done now is got the old dashboard before we put the piano black shiny one on. And that shows me where all these clips are. And it does appear as though there's an alignment clip in the middle, a couple of alignment clips here, alignment clip. The actual ones that hold it in place are those ones there, which clip in from underneath. So it would sort of go click in. And the, fat, the front facing screws. So if I take the front facing screws off and like push that back, that should come off. and that'll take that dash off. There we go. There we go. Aha, uh -huh. right. It's this heavy flex unit. Whoa. I'm trying my absolute damnedest to get that fucking switch out. Oh, you absolute bastard. It was caught behind another switch. Oh my God. I'm literally sweating, and now, how the hell do I get this back on? Ow. <gasps> yes. Oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our switch. Oh, my goodness. Clip, push in, and let's just, before we push it in too far, let's do the ignition's on. It's working! Aircon working. Height, heat sweeps, right, okay. Yes! It is finally in. Look at that. OEM tidy on the whole lot, all in. So now is the time to test how and if these heated seats work. Switch going on, driver's side. I'll tell you what, I'll turn the engine on. So let's see how long it takes to actually warm up. Am I starting to feel something already? That's definitely a warm bum. Exciting viewing. This is exciting viewing. There we go. Heated seats are working. I can't believe it. Finally. And the dashboard finally looks tidy. I don't know if my mine's playing tricks on me or not but it feels like the actual the back of the seat is heated not just the base oh that's so nice very impressed super happy lucari the heated seats are absolutely fantastic if you're thinking of doing some new bucket seats or you're thinking of doing some new leather upgrade seats or style design seats and you want heated seats wow i can definitely recommend these lucari seats from me and bo and all the team at Bilk, thank you very much for watching again and we'll catch you next time. I think one of the next things we're going to do with the Defender, we've got some exciting stuff coming up. So um, stay tuned for more Defender videos. Yeah, thank you so much again for watching and we'll see you next time.